this war of words, there's another friction point now. The LG Secretariat has returned 47 files not signed by the Chief Minister. These files signed by staff of the Chief Minister's office include those related to the Education Department and the WAF Court, among others. It may be recalled that the LG had written to the Chief Minister on the 22nd, flagging his not signing files that are sent to LG Secretariat for LG's consideration and approval. So a new friction point, as I pointed out, between the state government, that is the Aam Admi Party and the LG, because now we are understanding that the LG Secretariat has in fact returned 47 files not signed by the Chief Minister. What we are also understanding is that these files signed by the staff of the Chief Minister's office include those which are related to the Education Department, some are related to the WAF Board, among others as well. It also may be recalled, as we pointed out, that the LG in fact had written to the Chief Minister on an earlier date flagging that these files in fact have not been signed that are sent to LG's Secretariat for his consideration or approval. So thus these files have now been returned. Let me first understand what really is happening. Pallavi Ghosh, my colleague and senior editor now joining us on the broadcast. Pallavi, just help us understand what really has happened here. Well, if you remember, Ridima, just a few days back, there was a letter which was written by the Lieutenant Governor uh, to the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal saying that there's a tendency to uh, send files to me for approval and for my signature without the Chief Minister actually signing on them. They're either signed by officers or by other ministers. And, you know, what LG office told us by way of sources was that this was being done because tomorrow, if there's a decision which could land the Delhi Chief Minister into some bit of a crisis or an embarrassment, he would always shirk away by saying that I hadn't signed on those files. This is unacceptable, the LG had said at that point of time, and saying he's never ever going to sign any file if the Delhi Chief Minister himself doesn't sign those files and send it to his office. Well, that has clearly not happened, and therefore 47 of those files have already been returned by the Lieutenant Governor to the Delhi Chief Minister on the grounds that the CM, despite this nudge coming in from the LG's office, has not even bothered to sign on these files. Pallavi, I'll just request you to stay on with us. Our colleague Rupashi also now joining us on the broadcast. Rupashi, taking on from what Pallavi was pointing out, that what she's picking up by the means of sources is that there is possibly a sense of fear that if something doesn't go well in the future, that I don't, the chief minister wouldn't want his signature there. How is the Aam Aadmi Party reacting? Well, uh, uh, you know, Rizima, I, I also have uh, been uh, talking with our sources in the Lieutenant Governor's office. And this is an issue that, uh, that as Pallavi was also pointing out, has been flagged out by the Lieutenant Governor himself. Now, remember, since the Chief Minister does not hold any portfolios, he does not sign on files at all. And that question was also put uh, to the, uh, the Deputy Chief Minister today when he held that press conference. And the Deputy Chief Minister uh, viewed that this is a routine practice, that it has been uh, duly seen and signed by, by appropriate officers, and therefore it has gone, uh, it, 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 it has moved ahead uh, for the next uh, step. However, the election governor over here putting his foot down and making it clear that unless it is signed by the chief minister himself, uh, the, the things are not going to move forward. And and the election governor's office has also, I so to tell us, have taken a serious note as to why even after the election governor had uh, pointed this out, uh, has the chief minister's office uh, persisted with this particular practice. And therefore, a staggering okay. 47 files have been returned back to them. Okay. Uh, government. Okay, Rupashri and Pallavi, thanks a lot for getting us all those details. Unfortunately, we will have to.